To thy own self be true, and it must follow as night the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man. I heard this in a play once, and immediately I had a plan. That from then on, whenever I was asked, what's my favorite quote from the past? Those famous Shakespearean words would spout right out of my mouth without even thinking twice as to what it was all about. And why? Because it was so important for me to come across as a smart and intelligent guy. My oh my. You see, ever since I was little, with a self-image that was so brittle, there were these expectations, these labels stuck onto me by the world around me, dictating the recipe to be a happy man, to be seen as smart and attractive and be as successful as I possibly can. So to achieve this criteria, I went about my life with a type of composed hysteria, kind of like a bacteria. But the universe, <laughs> universe always has a different plan. For example, being considered attractive, as far as I'm aware, depended on so many things like the clothes you wear, or whether you're dark or you're fair. And for a man like me, well, it meant having a full head of hair. So you can imagine my strife when at the age of 25, I got asked, if I was going bald. The words, they cut like a knife. And to be follically challenged can be a tough gig in this world. It can be cruel. It comes with a lot of shaming, a lot of names, and of course, the ridicule. Since then, it's been years of fear and dejection, of discomfort when I looked at my own reflection, of pills and potions instead of love and affection. All we want from life is to be respected, to be loved. But instead, we usually end up feeling like we're rubber gloved. So feeling burdened with the hair loss along with the other insecurities that I picked up along the way, I decided to look for answers inside. So I asked and I asked until one day it came to me. I'll never forget that moment. I got out of bed with a big smile on my face, tears of joy welling up, my eyes red as I said, I love you, I respect you, I trust you. And that's when I realized that I could spend my whole life jumping through hoops for everyone else in the quest of being happy. Or I could stop all of that and simply find the happiness within me. So now I refuse to choose a life that revolves around what other people think or see. And instead I choose to focus on what I think of me. I'm distancing myself from anything that tells me that I'm not good enough. You know, the crap on TV and magazines and stuff. And I'm replacing that with a sea of tools that'll help me be the best version of myself. And as of right now, I choose to not spend another waking minute stuck in my own prison, accused of heresy. Instead, I choose to do something right now in the next minute that I know will set me free. And for those of you watching and can relate to my story, I have a message for you. Remember this, my friend. You are not your appearance. You are not your weight. You are definitely not your birth date. Your worth is not in your car, nor in your house. It's not in the person you're dating or in your spouse. The real you is inside of you. And your beauty, your worth will only show when you love and accept that version, the most authentic version of you. So I'm gonna go now and be the best bald version of me that I possibly can. Before I go, remember this. First to thy own self be true, and it shall follow as night the day. Thou canst be false to any other man.